It is good that you are here to record this picture of me in my palace garden at Addis Ababa. People who see this throughout the world will realize that even in the 20th century, with faith, courage, and a just cause, David will still beat Goliath. Her Majesty's cruiser Gambia comes into Portsmouth Harbour, bringing Haile Selassie, the Emperor of Ethiopia, to Britain for a three-day state visit. The Duke of Gloucester escorts His Imperial Majesty down the gangway. The Emperor wears the uniform of an Ethiopian field marshal. From Portsmouth, he journeys to Victoria Station. A crowd of Ethiopians watch Her Majesty the Queen welcome the Emperor to her capital. This is his first visit for many years. He was last in this country as a refugee after Mussolini's troops had invaded his kingdom. The Duke of Edinburgh and the Queen Mother greet the Emperor, who is known to his own people as the King of Kings, the conquering Lion of Judah, elect of God, power of the Trinity. The heir to his throne, the Duke of Hara, accompanied his father on the journey. Haile Selassie, whose hat is plumed with lion's tails, meets again Field Marshal Lord Allenbrook, Sir Winston Churchill, Mr. Eden and other distinguished leaders. The two sovereigns, followed by the two dukes, make their way from the platform to begin the journey to Buckingham Palace. Up Whitehall and into Trafalgar Square moves the procession past cheering crowds lining the entire route. Later, during a state banquet at the palace, the Queen officially greets the Emperor with the words, I would like to think that in England you will always feel at home.